Hi, I'm Rob, and in this Gems of War video, I'm going to go over all the different negative and positive status effects in the game regarding the troops and their equivalent name on the weapon because it is not the same thing. And this can actually be quite misleading, especially if you're a newer player. Take, for example, extra turn. Say we want a load of troops in our team to give us a extra turn because extra turns are good. We stop the enemy, enemy from getting turns, makes it more difficult for them. We can search for extra turn. And this is all troops that one mate or another get a extra turn or have a chance of getting an extra turn. So if we go to the weapons and we look at the same thing on extra turn on the weapons, we see that we have a choice, but it's not as much as it was before. Having all the weapons, but this is still going to be most of the ones that have an extra turn or chance of getting one. This one here, create the two blue, green, red and brown dragon gems and gain an extra turn. All good, you think, but not really, because the thing is, there's another way of finding extra turn because the one that's built into the upgrades on weapons is not actually called extra turn it's called quick so if we chuck in quick in there instead like that we get more options like rope dart has appeared one of the best weapons actually in the game because part of its upgrades is quick which is gain an extra turn and there's other choices as well this actually gets actually worse when you think of other things say entangling Say you got a skull based team that you're about to fight, really, really annoying, so you want to make sure you entangle them suckers as much as you can. So you search for entangle on the troops. You've got lots of really good options here to get the troops entangled. Entangle a random enemy when matching purple, for example. Bog Strider. Destroy a load of gems and entangle a random enemy. Lots of good choices. So we tab over to weapon and we think, ah, oh, it's hardly any there at all. But the thing is, these are only there because it uses the word entangle in the description somewhere. This one here entangles the first enemy and does a true damage. So entangle is in that description. That's why it's appeared. Same as same as this one, entangle the first enemy. It's part of the spell, all good. But this one here, it doesn't actually have any entangling effect at all. It does damage to an enemy and does 12 more damage for each status effect of entangle, duh, burn, frozen and stunned. It says entangle there with a D on the end, entangled. That's the only reason that's appeared. It doesn't have any entangled effect at all. And the reason is the weapon equivalent of entangle regarding the upgrades is tangling. So we get rid of that. Let's put in tangling. Look at this lot. Absolutely stacks now. And it's good as well because tangling actually entangles the top troop at the time. The one in first place. This is really, really good because it's obviously the top troop, which is the one that's going to be applying any skull damage. This one explodes green gems, does all the summony stuff. But look, there it is. Tangling in the upgrade. Let's take a look at it. Entangle the first enemy. Every single one of these weapons will have tangling and actually entangle the first enemy, which is really, really cool. So let's look at all the other ones and their equivalent names on the weapon. Right, so here we go. Let's get them all listed. If I missed anything out, let me know in the comments, but I think I've got all the main ones. I'm going to list all the negative ones first, then the positive ones, and then some kind of honourable mentions kind of thing of some really good upgrades, which are worth searching for sometimes in the weapon. So right, we have a tangling. It entangles the first enemy, called entangled normally. Next we have cursed. Death mark the first enemy. This is normally called death mark, so curse does the same thing. Really, really cool. It's not in any order, by the way. They're not in alphabetical. They're just as they come up. Next, we have frozen. Freeze the first enemy. So you're not looking for freeze. You're looking for frozen when it comes to the weapon. Marked. Hunters mark the first enemy. Fay. Fairyfy the first enemy. Webbed. Web the first enemy. Stunned. Stun the first enemy. Plagued. Disease the first enemy. Flaming. Burn the first enemy. Hemorrhage, bleed the first enemy, peaceful, silence the first enemy, and venomous, poison the first enemy. Next, let's take a look at some of the positive ones. Quick, as we saw earlier, is a extra turn, so you don't search for extra turn when it comes to the weapon. You can look for that as well, because there will be some options, but you also look for quick to get extra options. Shielding, barrier yourself. So it's not barrier, as you'd look for normally on a on a troop it's shielding when it comes to the weapon sacred bless yourself that's i find some of these a bit weird because blessing yourself is called sacred and blessed gives myself a random status effect so it is a little bit confusing sometimes yeah so um the sacred bless yourself 
blessed gives yourself a random states effect a bit weird but anyway it is what it is curse breaker cleanse all allies this is something this is the only thing in this in the game where there's two things that do the same thing called different things i'm not sure the devs actually know about this it may not have come up in their testing but there's also mass curing which also cleanses all allies so curse breaker or mass curing both cleanse all allies raging enrage myself tidal submerge myself and enchanting enchant myself right next up let's take a look at the storms and which word you look for in the weapon search to cause a certain storm fire creates a firestorm light creates a light storm dust create a dust storm leaf creates a leaf storm dark creates a dark storm ice creates a nice storm and bone creates a bone storm so all logical there all good now just a few more honorable mentions of some really good effects in weapons which are very effective lightning deals five scatter damage that is a nice cheap way of getting rid of barriers to all those troops those teams that get a barrier on everybody really quickly and really easily can be a real pain because it is hard to remove the barrier from them all but lightning which deals five scatter damage just does a tiny amount of damage to all the troops as you cast the weapon but therefore removes the barrier really cheaply and easily so really nice lightning for those against those sort of teams leeching steal two mana from the first enemy and draining drains three mana from the first enemy these are they're actually kind of underrated these kind of effects because say the enemy was just about to cast their weapon and it's something really annoying like a wand of stars or something like that but you've got to cast your weapon you actually drained that mana away from the enemy stopping them from casting next turn force them to take an extra move that may give you a chance to get going on something else and, and change the game so yeah really good afflicted a random status effect on the first enemy volcanic all red allies gain two mana and radiant one mana for all allies so some other ones there there are absolutely stacks and stacks more but can't go over them all because there are absolutely bazillions so there you go there is all the positive and negative status effects in the game regarding the troops and their equivalent name or the way you search for them regarding the weapon you can search for this on my channel as a future reference point by just putting in positive negative reference for example and it should come up in my search but there's a video if you enjoyed it found it useful to helpful be really cool if you bash that like and subscribe button it really does help but most of all thanks for watching and feel free to share the video amongst your fellow gems of war players things like that thanks for watching bye for now